All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML Sports Take, brought to you by our great, great friends at Empower Federal Credit Union, Welching Company Jewelers, and the Vince Aguirre Consulting Group. Go ahead and log on to vcgtransforms.com to become a better leader, both personally and professionally today. I just dove into some stats uh, with Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. Let me preface this by saying I don't think Josh Allen right now is the quarterback Patrick Mahomes is. I understand Mahomes has a Super Bowl ring, a Super Bowl MVP, 5,000-yard, 50-touchdown uh, season. He's won an MVP. I get all that. I feel like today in sports you have to preface something because somebody on Twitter is going to hear something and go, oh, I can't believe you just said. So I just wanted to tell you that I think Mahomes is the best player and the best quarterback in the NFL. Now, having said that, what excites me about the Buffalo Bills is they're finally getting into an offensive league, a quarterback league, and opening it up the way they should, the way everybody else has for years and years and years. Why? Because they have a quarterback and they have an offensive coordinator who's willing to open it up at this point. Those two guys seem to be on the same page, and they have weapons to throw the ball to. Look at the formations, the trickery, the, the fake reverses, the, the four wide. This is how the game is played today, and finally, finally after all this time, the Buffalo Bills are actually doing it. Listen, I was on the edge on Sunday as well when the Bills were blowing that 28-3 lead with 23 minutes to go, but... In the end, they won the game with offense, not defense. How many times do we talk about the Bills have to win 13 to 7, 16 to 10, 20 to 17? If they don't get turnovers or stop the run on defense, they're not going to win the game. Well, now they're down two weeks in a row, and Josh Allen and the offense is the one that you know they're the ones who win the game. And frankly, a lot of times you you, you talk about you know don't leave Tom Brady with time on the clock, don't leave Peyton Manning with time on the clock, don't leave Aaron Rodgers with time on the clock, don't leave John Elway and Joe Montana with time on the clock. I'm not saying Josh Allen's those guys. I'm not saying he ever ever will be. But the point is, if your quarterback can make plays in the end, and in the fourth quarter, in the end, if you have the ball last. You can win if your offense is really, really good. You can go win the game in a QB offensive league. Listen to these numbers. Josh Allen, 81 of 114 right now with a 71.1 completion percentage. That percentage is better than Mahomes, who's 82 for 121 with a 67.8 mark. Meanwhile, Allen has 1,038 yards through the air. Mahomes has 898. Uh, you check it there in Allen's favor again. 9.1 average for Allen beats Mahomes' uh, 7.4 average. 10 touchdowns for Allen through the air, 9 touchdowns downs for Mahomes. That's, I mean, that's four boxes right there where Allen beats Mahomes. One interception for Allen, none for Mahomes, but we know that interception was bullshit. It should have been a kept possession for Tyler Croft, and of course OPI with the Bills having a first and long that should have never changed possession over to the Rams, and some people have argued that it did in fact change the game as well. The long passes, Allen is connected for 47 yards, his longest, Mahomes, 54. So he's got him by a few yards there, but again, very close. The rating, Allen has him there as well, 124.8 rating and 114.3 for Patrick Mahomes. On the running side of things, both of these guys are mobile enough to get out of the pocket and gain yards. The gamer in them, but again, you don't want to be Lamar Jackson in this league, I'm telling you. Eventually you're going to get crushed because you're relying the entire way in that pistol whip sort of read option combined Greg Roman offense, Lamar Jackson is going to get popped at some point. It's okay to be mobile. It's okay to throw on the run. It's okay to run when the play breaks down because you're a gamer and a competitor, but you can't rely on the legs first. That's why I'm glad that uh, Brian Dable has kind of slowly the last two weeks gotten away with the read option situation. Look at Josh Allen, 22 carries for 84 yards and two touchdowns. Mahomes, 10 carries, 80 yards, one touchdown. Again, in Allen's favor. Longest run, 16 yards for Allen, 21 yards for Patty Mahomes. Goes in Mahomes' favor, but again, very close between the two. I liken the offensive structure to this. Now, look, would I love to have Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy? Do I think that they're better than uh, Brian Dable and, of course, Sean McDermott, who still leans a little bit more on the defensive side as head coach? Of course. I'd also have a damn Super Bowl at this point. But, look, here's the model. Allen Mahomes. Allen has Stephon Diggs. Uh, and Mahomes has Tyree Kill. You look at the Dawson Knox, Cole Beasley, uh, John Brown trio. You look at Patty Mahomes, the trio maybe is your Hardman, Sammy Watkins, Travis Kelsey trio. You want to throw uh, uh, Tyler Croft in there for Dawson Knox because of the current situation with the health and Knox and the concussion, and Croft just had a great game against the Rams. However you want to do it, throw in your three, throw in your three, compare them, and then you've got versatile guys who can run it and catch it who are shifty north, south, east, west. They can catch the ball out of the backfield as well, and they run between the tackles and can take it to the house at any time they touch it. Devin Singletary for the Bills and Clyde Edwards-Elair, the rookie for Kansas City out of the backfield. 
I'm not saying Allen is Patrick Mahomes. I'm not saying Brian Dable is Eric Bieniemy. I'm not saying that anybody on the Bills is Bieniemy and Andy Reid. I'm not saying any of that stuff. I'm not saying one franchise is the other. I'm not. All I'm getting at is that the model is a lot more similar now in Buffalo to Kansas City than we could have ever imagined a few years ago because Brandon Bean, general manager, you get the right head coach in, you hire the right coordinators. We hope Brian Dable is there for a little while longer. He'll probably get some head coach calls after this season, but he's finally opening some things up. He limited the read option for a couple of years, a couple of games, of course, and they get Stephon Diggs finally a number one. Mahomes has had a number one. He has a star-studded tight end and track. Travis Kelsey, maybe Knox and Croft combined can provide some of those numbers for Josh Allen. You take a look at Sammy Watkins, you look at Hardman, uh, you look at those kind of receivers, the Beasley possession type receiver, and of course you look at John Brown, who I think is a 1A receiver in this league before they even got Stephon Diggs. Now you can kind of bump him down to the 1A2 spot and give him some uh, different looks now that Diggs is in the game uh, weekly as well. There's just more things to kind of look at. It's more blue to blue, green to green, purple to purple than black, white, up, down, left, and right uh, here. There's a lot more similarities here between the Bills offense and the Chiefs offense. And yes, I don't hand out MVPs after three weeks, but if you want to have the conversation right now, it's Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, Josh Allen, those kind of guys. And just the fact that we're talking about this, that the Buffalo Bills have an offense like this, the fact that they're in, at the top of the AFC in, in, in a ton of offensive categories, the fact that we're talking about a, a quarterback who three games in is playing offensive football, 114 attempts passing. This is today's world. College football, pro football, you throw the ball. The Buffalo Bills are doing it. Josh Allen right now, three weeks in, if you know MVP candidate talk is your kind of thing, it's not for me, but people are doing it. Good morning, football's doing it because got to have water cooler talk, got to have arguments, got to have ratings, got to have clicks. Fine, do your thing. Allen is right there statistically with Patrick Mahomes, the best player in the NFL and the number one quarterback in the NFL as well. Mike Lindsley with you and ML Sports Take brought to you by our great friends at Welch & Company Jewelers, Hides of Liverpool, Liverpool Physical Therapy, and our terrific, terrific friends over at Barks & Rec Doggy Daycare. If you're in and around Central New York, make sure you go hit Barks & Rec up. Bring your pup for a day of play while you're at work or you're in and around the area and pick them up afterwards as well. It's only $25 a day to drop off your furry friend. Hit me on Twitter at Mike L Sports on Instagram, Mike L Sports 1979 and of course, subscribe to my YouTube page, the Mike Lindsley YouTube page for a ton of Bills content, Yankee playoff uh, info and more, pinstripepassion.com, my website. And uh, again, the downloads and the five-star reviews on the ML Sports Platter podcast are appreciated as well. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.